think that Arsenal were doing fine for the first sort of 15 minutes or so, and it was a very hotly contested game, you know, feet were sort of flying in, etc. But then I think it all turned on the yellow card for Rob Holding. I think Arsenal hadn't been given any protection. Um, I think that Song had been given as good as he got from uh, from Holding, but it would just seem to be just one way. So that's the first thing that happened. And I think at that point he lost his head, and I think the elbow was a straight red, quite frankly. I don't think it was a second yellow. It should have been a straight red. But nothing was mentioned either about the Ben Davis incident because when Ben Davis takes out Saka, Saka's got a clear running on goal. None of the other defenders had really made any attempt to come back. Why wasn't it looked at for a red card? I remember that That's moment. Has Robert got a point, Martin? I remember it. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, I... And, yeah, and, and also, th- th- let's be honest. It's such a soft penalty. I know you guys are going as oh, it's a penalty, but let's be honest. If that was, if that wasn't given, no one would have moaned about it, other than Conte. If that was Liverpool defending, no way that would have been given. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that for it. sure, Robert. It's, Robert, oh, it's shocking. Robert, it's shocking. In the cold light of day this Friday morning, soft or not, was it a penalty? No. All right, so you're saying, fair enough, enough you're saying, all right, no, was that, I, there's no, that's a non sequitur from my point of view then, isn't it? We can't carry on after that. No, I, I, what would you say about his Ben Davis point? I mean, I think he's got a very good point. Um, and if you look, Ben Davis is sort of like, it's like a pincer tackle, isn't it? And he tries to grab Sackers away and then nothing becomes of it. Yeah. Um, I think what the, the, the Robert is suggesting is that maybe Sky didn't really want to make much of that. Uh, and maybe that was the commentary team that was maybe being, you know, going one way rather than the other, Jim. Which you are a little bit this morning. You know, you're c- categoric about the penalty. Uh, I think it was soft. What are you saying about the Sky commentary team? Well, no one really referred to it. I mean, I thought last night it was quite a lot of replays every time there was an Arsenal player that made a foul. And suddenly you don't really see uh, too many replays when there was uh, an Arsenal player involved or a Spurs player that made brought one. And that was a key incident. Sackle was away on goal there. Uh, uh, Martin, I'm looking at you. You've got a chip in both shoulders this morning. You cannot be suggesting the commentary team was was biased towards Tottenham last night. Is that what you're suggesting? I think Gary Neville was very quick to say that was a penalty in real time. And I think if he was, I think he was a fullback, he would be unhappy if that was. Oh, he might have been if he was a fullback. He was a co-commentator last night. That's what he's paid to do. He wasn't being paid to be a fullback last night. No, but I'm just giving you my opinion. What you're paying me for to give my opinion here today, and I'm saying he was very quick to give that to say that that was a penalty. Maybe. Maybe, but I wouldn't for one moment go down that road that there's road? any bias in the commentary I'm just making team. a comment. Well, you made, yeah, and, and you've made your comment. Uh, Adam's a big Arsenal fan. Adam, good morning. Morning, gents. How are we? Uh, we're, we're, we're OK. Uh, we're OK. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to be as objective as we can be about what happened in the field of play last night. And um, obviously, it was a night to forget for Arsenal, but it was a night to remember for Tottenham. Where did you stand in it being an Arsenal fan? It was, well, it was definitely a hard one for me to take last night, one of, especially one of, my, one of my good mates being a Tottenham fan as well. makes it even harder. Um, but I, I sat there, you watch, you watch people like Cedric Swords go in for that tackle uh, on the penalty. It's 100% a penalty. He's gone straight through the back of him without even trying to attempt to play the ball. What more does he expect? Everyone knows that Song goes down from the littlest bit of contact. He'd done it against Man United earlier on in the season. He's done it against us. Then you've got people like Rob Holding who just go in with the... Like, what was he playing at? He's a Premier League defender, and if you ask me, he shouldn't even be in the Premier League. He's, he is literally championship quality. Oh, that's harsh. But, but Adam, you're saying, the, the, you're saying this as an Arsenal fan. Yeah, I am. Yeah, 100%. It was a stonewall penalty. It was a stonewall red card. You can't go in for a tackle like that on, on Son because you know he's just going to go down with the most minimal contact. Rob Holden has been doing it now. For, he, was, he was there when... Arsene Wenger signed him probably about two, three years before he left the club. Now, I'm not being funny. How he is still there is baffling to me. The best comeback that he's had is his hairline. And other than that, it is literally ridiculous. Adam, listen, th- th- thanks for the call. It's about time we get a Spurs viewpoint on this. Andy, good morning. Morning, gents. How are we doing? Good, thank you. Morning, good. Andy. So, wh- oh, Sorry, Martin. I was just reading your column from Tuesday in the Daily Mail there, you know about um, no Tottenham players will ever make the Arsenal side. So, But, you know, um, carry on. Try to, Andy, I'll carry on. And what I was, I've was i already said this to Simon, who likes to sort of ridicule former players. That's why we do this show, because Simon can have a pop at us. But what I wanted to do was just going into battle, I wanted to do, really support my team, endorse that team, 
that I felt I believed in those Arsenal players. But maybe that was a column for the match program then. Andy, that's, what, 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 as got, a, as what, to what have you got to say, Andy? Newspaper? Andy, what? Um, anyway, let, let's just go on to last night. You know, um, we've got Theo Walcott in the studio, who yes. was just totally biased for the Arsenal. You know, even saying on live TV, he wouldn't vote for any Tottenham player in the end of season awards because, well, you just wouldn't. So there's his Arsenal bias. He even said last night. That was a stonewall penalty. He said, I would have been shouting up and down wanting a penalty. Rob Holding, everyone's saying, like Martin, you said that um, Sonny went over to the other side, targeted Rob Holding. Mm. Right, you know, Martin, you look for the weakness in the opposition. So Sonny going over there, he's just looking for a weakness. It's not to rile him up or anything. And you look at the game, Paul Tierney let two blatant fat Rob Holding fouls on Sonny go. And then when he booked him for the first time, he said, he put his thing, two fingers up and said, you've had two chances before. So he even gave him a third chance and gave him, this, you know, the first yellow card. And like the Arsenal fans just said, when he's run across Sonny, mm. you know, you can say that he's gone down very easy, but Martin, you know f- footballers will gain any advantage they can. Arsenal players have gone Andy, down. Andy, let me ask you this. Has Son brought himself uh, some kind of an angel-type reputation? Is he looked at as cynically as other players? I, I, I don't think Sonny's a, a diver or anything like that. No, but, but uh, do you see what I'm trying to get at here? Everybody but, likes the boy. He's always smiling. Does he have this yeah. angel-like reputation? Jim, I'm just going to take that out of your hands there. Look, Son is a fantastic player. You know, this show's going a certain direction and looking at the cynical side of everything that everyone does. I do that. I do. I know. I do. I do think Son, yeah, he will fall over, as Andy says, to gain an advantage. But I do feel, though, Andy, that was a soft penalty. If that's given against you at Wild Lane, you're going berserk over that. Oh, yeah, Come yeah, on. totally, Martin. But the word is what you've used two words there soft and penalty. Optive word is penalty. You can have a hard penalty, a soft penalty, and all that. You know, at the end of the day, it's a penalty. He's not wrong, Martin, is he? He's not wrong in that. What we're saying is, though, that there's sometimes, you, if that wasn't given, would you be arguing too much oh, about Martin, it? You know, Paul Turney is not Tottenham's favourite referee. He's not done us no He is now. In the past. Oh, come He's changed on. that in a nightfall, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, my days. Martin, Martin, as Jim said, get them chips off your shoulder, mate. Come well, look, on. Listen, and, Andy, Andy, Andy for 20 years when we were making it in the Champions League, you had a chip on your shoulder. Oh, here we go. Andy, Andy, be objective for me now before you go, mate. Yeah. Champions League. How's it looking? Uh, do you know what? It's still in Arsenal's hands. I still think they're going to do it, but, you know... Andy, what makes you think that? Because what is wrong with these Tottenham fans? No, is this, no, no. Listen, is this based on history or is yeah, this based no. on fact, what's no, in front of us? This is because after the game yesterday, you saw it, he wouldn't talk about the referee anyway, and he said, right, that game's over. It's now focus on Newcastle. With half of his team yeah, injured, yeah? Oh, Mike, my, my, you can stop. We haven't got a centre-half, have we, for the, for the game at the weekend? We've got Ben White, and yeah. He was well, is he, is he fit? He is he available? Come on, he might have stopped the second goal. But he didn't. He wrapped him in cotton wool, ready for the weekend's game. When, when, the, when, the, when, when Holding went off injured, he, he ran in the opposite direction. He ran into the dressing room. Well, if you look at this, I watched, you know, all the stuff afterwards. And, you, and he obviously got a message because he started drinking or eating that energy bar or whatever. Then suddenly <laughs> another message came in, that, you know, and he was sat slumped down again. I, I assume he was not <laughs> deemed to be fit enough to play in the game. And he was trying to look at the bigger picture. But in the meantime, that cost us another goal. Well, okay, listen, know. Andy, we'll move on. Listen, thank you for the, your time and thank you for your call. Uh, there's my, uh, uh, there's all sorts of conspiracy theories going on this morning. Um, it's all getting very heated, but it's all very entertaining as well. The bottom line is uh, Tottenham won it and get three valuable points last night and it's think again for Arteta and, uh, and Arsenal. Um, we're coming up, we're just past quarter to 11. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.